All right, guys. I don't know if you guys remember it or not, but last video or a video or two ago, I said I was retiring. Screw that. Let's go, baby. We're like 11th in the world right now. <laughs> so much for retiring. Uh, we're second in the US. But yeah. <laughs> you know, I just, I saw some of my friends. I'm friends with Nat and Fury and, and Gunner and Dragon Slayer is kind of new to the scene. But, you know, I've competed with these guys in the past. I can hold my own. I can hang. And so I figured, ah, what the heck? Let's go. Let's go for it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show some defenses. There was a streak in here where we got six defenses in a row. It just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, yeah. And then there were a couple more here. We got Pete saying I, and then here, I'll, I'll replay this one and then we'll replay the rest of the, the fails. This was the base that I was running. And yeah, let's see him screw this up. Oh, he got flung! He got flung! Oh, get wrecked! Oh my god, I haven't even watched this replay. Oh my god. Dude, he got wrecked. <laughs> Please switch. Oh man, okay, that was close. <laughs> oh, look at, oh, he's getting so much value. Oh, he got wrecked. He got wrecked so hard. Oh, the giants aren't getting any value either. Oh, 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 oh my god, he got destroyed. Yeah, honestly, that backside P.E.K.K.A. might actually do some work. Oh, oh. A lot of things going wrong right here. Yeah, okay. Alright. Honestly, closer than it should have been. Yeah, anyway. Alright, so. Uh, obviously, I had some amazing defenses, but I also had some absolutely clutch attacks. So, I mean, if, if you're ranking up, you gotta hit it on both sides, right? Not only do you have to have amazing defenses, you gotta have amazing attacks, and boy do I have some attacks for you today. Today I'm gonna show you the attacks that went wrong, but I still got the 200%. Uh, and if you're looking for more defenses from uh, the base that I just showed, uh, I'm gonna tack those on at the end of the video. But you can see here, uh, that one Tesla at the bottom there, it, uh, it pulled my baby dragon the wrong way. Uh, I was trying to use two baby dragons to take out the lava launcher, and boy, that did not work. Uh, yeah, I just got got. And then look, it, it, this Tesla up top, that's screwing me over too. I mean, look at this. It's horrible. It was really bad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ugh. I mean, he pretty much trapped me. But it's okay. And you know what? If you look at it, everything went wrong in the beginning. We adjusted though. And we're at, we might actually be getting through this. Uh, and spoiler alert, <laughs> we do. That's like the whole point of me showing these attacks uh, is that we do get through these. But boy, it's close. And like, honestly, incredibly risky from me. Uh, you'll see I actually moved my cart forward because I was running out of time. Uh, and so I, I knew he could tank two hits from that giant cannon and it was needed because I was running out of time. Anyway, second stage, we already have two carts. So this is pretty much guaranteed. Uh, I, I mean, it's not completely guaranteed but like you know 95 percent of the time this is a guaranteed six star so we use some barbarians to test for traps which obviously there were uh and we get rid of those traps we have two cannon carts and uh you can't really do too much so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and skip ahead through all this uh i charge up my battle machine it gets a ton of value i have this extra baby dragon which is going to take out all the zappies and yeah that's a, that's an easy six star uh, and it, oh my gosh, it went so wrong in the beginning, but we still, we still clutch up and yeah, so we got some more of those just attacks that had no right to be a six star and, and they're being a six star. And, and let me tell you something when I am on, I am on. And what I mean by that is when I'm playing really well, I am really hard to beat. It's just, it's, it's 
crazy. You can see right there, um, my cart got trapped instantly. You know, the strategy that I'm using right here, right now, uh, that you're seeing on screen, uh, the carts are generally kind of vulnerable and somewhat risky. You know, if they trap for it, it's pretty easy to trap. Uh, but, you know, that's a big if. It's if they trap for it, right? If they don't trap it for it, it's like, it's a pr pretty easy six star. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of Teslas pop up. A lot of stuff goes wrong right there. Uh, luckily, I had a, a really good Battlecopter ability right there. And it's going to have some time to charge up its new ability. Uh, that being said, I mean, there's not like a lot to do here. Like, there, it's very tough. Now, I end up putting my baby dragon at the very top there, mostly because of time. Like, I, I realized that if I didn't put my baby dragon up top there and, and let it take up and, and beat down all of those high HP buildings, I would have had no chance to actually take out the base in time. That being said, we got completely trapped in the beginning and we ended up with a, a full baby dragon, like baby dragon with ability and an extra cart, which again, it's basically the same as two carts. It's pretty much a guaranteed six star at that point, which is incredible. And yeah, okay, we're gonna do one more attack and then I'm gonna go, go ahead and, oh, no, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Ah, ah, just kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna get myself. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry. We're definitely, we're doing uh, one more attack and then we're gonna get into all those juicy defenses because boy, Boy, did I hit some nice defenses. Um, you can see here, honestly, that cart placement for me down there, kind of an issue. Uh, not great. Not great cart placement right there. It could be trapped. It's very natural for that Tesla to be there. But, you know, it is what it is. If that Tesla wasn't there, then, uh, you know, uh, easy, easy six star. But, yeah, uh, something very interesting that I did in this attack, which... I must have been playing really well. Is you can see I used some archers to take out that back end. And then I also used some archers. Oh, wow. Um, here, I'm going to pause it. Okay, so I just wanted to highlight this before I go back to talking about what I was doing with the archers. If you look at the cannonball, there's a cannonball that goes right across the screen. Ends up targeting this archer and goes across the entire screen and kills my cannon card, which is really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Anyways, I used some archers to clear out the back part of the base and then I used some actually invested some resources in getting the archer tower that was near the air bombs so that I could put a baby dragon a full baby dragon on the air bombs and I think that was actually really smart and uh, very really well done for me uh, good adjustments in general like I, I had to adjust a lot here obviously but now we're going to the second stage and the second stage is not guaranteed uh, two two carts on baby dragon is not guaranteed at all on a second stage but I knew he used all of his Teslas in the first stage, so I, for that top uh, cannon cart, I knew the only thing that could trap it was a, a push trap, and I put it on the outside of the base. You can see there, uh, the main risk is of this attack is if my cannon cart at the bottom there got trapped and, and got hit by a push trap. That's like the main thing that would have been bad for me. Uh, but that didn't happen, and yeah, there we go. That's another six star, another clutch six star. Uh, and, and yeah, that, I mean that's part of how why, why I was able to compete at the top. Um, and I was clearly I was playing well uh, this day. So now let's get into some of these juicy defense. Look at that defense log, isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh! And these people, these are really good players. Uh, At Malio, the guy on screen right now, he was number one in the world last season. Uh, it's also, I believe it's Daniel's alt account and Daniel also has multiple number one in the world finishes and like I'm defending against him and it's, it's not even a five star. It's a two star. Uh, you can see there, uh, like with the, uh, the cannon carts, he kind of put it in range of, of the giant cannon, uh, just kind of a mistake from him. But after that, yeah, it's just kind of a wrap. Uh, I honestly, I don't think it would have worked even if he had health. Maybe he had the time, but it definitely was close. Um, we have Senior Amelia here. I I feel like it's an alt account for somebody, but I don't actually know on this one. Uh, anyway, we're about to see this person mess up, which is awesome. I don't actually know how this attack goes, so let's let's see how I get him. Okay, I see it. Oh, but you see that? 
uh, the giant was too late and he was trying to time the giant and like also get charge up on his battle machine, but it just, it didn't work out from that area because the base is like actually kind of decent. Um, you know, it, it, that wasn't a stupid mistake. Like it was a mistake for sure, but it was a mistake from the base design, which is like, that, that's actually a, a like, it, it's good on me. Good defense. Now, I believe I recorded some audio for this. I'm doing a voiceover right now, but I, I believe I was, um, I was speaking during this and I just, I didn't, I wasn't recording like my actual voiceover when I was doing this live. So we're, we're doing another voiceover and we're watching these again. So let's look at this. Let's see what Lucifer has for me. Um, it looks like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. He's going to try and take out these double cannons with the cannon carts, but is it enough? Oh, he wasn't quick enough. He wasn't quick enough up top for sure. And then, yeah, I think he's just, I think he's too slow in general. Oh, honestly, a decent attempt on that one. Uh, definitely can, can be trapped, uh, but he was a little slow there. So, yeah, uh, good good stuff there. Uh, and then, here we go. This is going to be a Night Witch attack. For most people, don't use Night Witches at the highest level. They aren't that good, and you're probably not skilled enough to use them. That being said, this guy is probably the only guy out there that actually uses them competitively and is somewhat successful. Uh, it just didn't work out for him on this one. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Just saying, if I really went at it, uh, I feel like I really could compete. But in general, it's just it takes a lot out of you, and I don't really want to compete that intensely for you know several weeks on end. So, yeah, I just want to show I could do it, and yeah, we'll we'll call the video. See ya.